Many of you will remember the artist that got attacked recently over the Nessa fan art, and we saw where Puritans were going just crazy attacking them. Well, it seems that Japan has had enough, and now there is a warning out there for them to ignore the Puritans. It's good to see them stand up against the Puritans. Hey, what is going on, everybody? How are you all doing today? I hope you all are having a wonderful and fantastic day today, and if not, hopefully you all will have a better tomorrow. As we've been seeing, we've been seeing how Western comics have been doing. When it comes to American comics like Marvel and DC, they've been completely failing as they continue to make terrible comics. I mean, like the new Captain America, for example. We all know that's just a garbage heap and that it's virtue signaling for that Twitter clout, which is not going to earn them any money. To which people are tired of comics like these because people are sick of having political agendas thrown in their face and... Characters that they've loved and known being completely destroyed. That's why people have moved on to manga and anime, for example, because that's good entertainment. Great stories, wonderful characters, fantastic art, things that people can get behind and always love and cherish. You know, that's why you'll see that manga has been on the rise as well as anime, and its popularity has continued to grow. Now, of course, this also leads into Puritans trying to make their way in. You know, try to change the landscape so they can make it fit their standards. Which, of course, they can't do that, which has been frustrating them because Japan obviously is not bending to them. Which, so, since they fail at that, well, they continue to try to push anyways, but it continues to blow up in their face. And when you look at manga and anime, well, it gives people what they want. It's very successful because it delivers and people enjoy it, and obviously it knows how to make the dough. But that's the other thing here is that, as we've seen, when it comes to fan artists, this is how they've tried to attack fan artists in Japan, is by saying that, Oh, well, this woman is too busty, sexy woman, man! You know, crying over this. You know, and, of course, trying to make a lot of artists bend the knee. Which, of course, it was really sad to see when this artist deleted their artwork and took down their Nessa art. Absolutely awful. We've seen this happen multiple times. And it's not just Nessa, it's many other anime characters as well that they've gone after artists for making. And so... Funny thing is, though, is that there was a warning sent out, and this was absolutely beautiful, because this was something that actually was very, very good and needed to be said here, because these Japanese artists, they obviously don't need to bend the knee to these Puritans. So it's good to see that somebody has stood up and said, hey, this is what you should do. You should ignore these Puritans, which we're going to go over every single last thing they put within this post, and like I said, absolutely wonderful what they put in here which of course has gathered a lot of attention and <laughs> boy you want to talk about the puritans getting riled up over it oh man they were riled up over this post so taking a look at this entire post because get ready it gets good so this is what it states attention japanese artists are you currently being or have you ever been harassed by multiple accounts on twitter because of one of your works we understand that in recent days many users on twitter have decided to target japanese artists for several reasons a character's skin tone a character's outfit or bus size or clothing what often follows is a massive amount of negative comments urging you to change or remove your artwork from this platform and which obviously Nobody should remove their artwork, they should keep it the way it is, because it is their art. You know, they have a right to do their art, and if these Puritans get upset over a busty female character, or if they just get upset over the way it's drawn, then they don't have to like it, I mean. But that doesn't mean they should go around and attack people, because they certainly should not be doing that. But, of course, it's the Puritans. They're going to go around, and they're going to try to shame people. I mean, it's how they are. Which is not right, but that's what they do. You have not done anything wrong by posting your artwork. Your creative vision has merely attracted the attention of some bad actors on this platform who will seek to silence you because your creative vision does not agree with their standards. And that's exactly how the Puritans are. If you don't fit their standards, then you are the enemy and they're going to come after you. I mean, that's exactly how they work. And if you think differently than them, then you have wrong think and you're on the wrong side of history. You know, that's their perspective and that you must think the same way as them or else they will berate you until you do. That's exactly how they work. And if you don't think the way they do, even after all that, then they want to deplatform you. That's exactly how they work, which they are absolutely disgusting. Please understand, you are not at fault. The problem lies solely in the minds of these users, which that is true. You have not violated any laws, Twitter, TOS, 
which is terms of service, or any unspoken rules. Your freedom of expression is important. We realize that Japanese culture approaches criticism and negative feedback different from that of any other nations. But it is important that you understand your individual rights as a creator. Exactly. And if you want to draw something the way you want to draw it, you have that right. If somebody tells you you're wrong for that, and that you should change it, delete it, get rid of it, well, then forget them. <laughs> I mean, that, that's the way you should do it. You should stand your ground. You shouldn't get rid of it. And if these Puritans come after you, then say, screw it. You know what I mean? That's how you should react to them. You should just say, screw them, and just do things how you want to do it. You know, ignore the Puritans. What to do if you are approached negatively about your artwork? Please check the account information about the user who is disparaging or demanding you change or remove your artwork. If the biography or header image contains any of the following. Age information usually represented by a number below 18. The following acronyms, <laughs> uh, certain pronouns, of course. And then you also have the emojis. You have, uh, you know, alternative lifestyles, you know, so on and so forth. You know, this gives you the idea of what to look at whenever they have this in their heading of their Twitter bio. You know, so this gives them the idea of what to look out for, which, you know, the Puritans typically have this in their profile name when they do this kind of stuff. So... The post goes on to say this, you may ignore any criticism from these accounts. These should be considered warning signs that the user you are dealing with is either a person under the age of 18, a person lacking in mental stability, or a person otherwise lacking in mental maturity. All of said users have one goal in common. They are here to push an agenda. They wish to silence you to suppress your ability to present your artwork because it does not fit their ever fluid standards. Yes, and that's how these Puritans work. Doesn't fit their standards, they're going to come after you. You know, just get ready because they will come after you. If you are targeted by any account that meets the preceding criteria, you may do any or all of the following. Block, ignore, mute, or report the user for targeted harassment, which that is a good thing to do. I mean, it takes care of the Puritans that are coming after you. I mean, you know, so if they're going to do that, yeah, you know, any of those options you should do. I agree. Alternatively, you may continue to present your artwork on other platforms with a much more understanding audience such as Pixiv or Minds. Do not do the following. Apologize. Issue a public apology. Delete your post. Edit your artwork to their standards. Exactly. Do not apologize. Do not do any of those things. That is exactly right, because when you apologize, that just opens the door for them to come at you even harder. You know, that's what they want you to do. They want you to apologize so that they can then come and bash you more and shame you more and continue to attack you. Because an apology is never enough. Once you do what they ask, it's never enough. It just leads to more things they want you to do for them. That's how these Puritans work. Like I said, they are disgusting. They are monsters. And if they come after you, stand your ground and ignore them. I mean, that's, that's what you should do. You are likely being singled out as a potential victim of cancel culture, which that's why this whole entire post was made, which is a mob tactic of shaming any form of expression that does not fit an established set of criteria that is admittedly both Western and very socialist <laughs> as a result of exposure to ongoing propaganda campaigns Many of said instigators will be young, will not be Japanese, will have no understanding of Japanese culture, and will not be exposed to the cultural norms of mangaka or Japanese societal norms. Understand this, these people do not represent the majority of Western culture, which that is true. Most of Western culture consider these people to be immature, obnoxious, and otherwise ist against Japanese creators. I mean, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much the truth. I mean, this whole thing nailed it on the head. It basically was saying, you know, just do your own thing. Do not listen to these people. Ignore them, and they're not your audience. They don't support you. And they know this. Like, this article here, which was actually in Japanese, which I had translated here, this one right here is talking about how political correctness is dangerous, about cancel culture, and how cancel culture is a very destructive thing, and how it tries to bring down people, how it tries to destroy people, and that's what these Puritans do. They try to destroy, hurt, and bring down actual creators, and as we've seen with the artists, you know, they try to get them to apologize all the time. This is exactly what they do. This is why this article was so important, because even the Japanese are aware of what's going on here, and they're trying to inform and trying to let people know that, look, this is dangerous. This is something that you cannot bend the knee to. You cannot apologize to these people. 
And I mean, they're aware of it. They know this. This person put out a pretty good post here saying, I want to put this out there for other artists as a word of warning. Do not apologize to Westerners complaining about your art. They have a mindset that they can force you to comply with their absurd standards and will only harass you harder when you try to apologize, which this is true. I mean, this is a good warning. And glad to see that somebody also made a post warning people. And also, you can see that this post did get a lot of positive responses, and it got some negative ones as well, because the Puritans, they were not happy with this post. They did not like this post. Now, while there was a lot of good here, like this, for example, yes, keep this going, it's very loud, annoying, minority of the West, don't listen to them, they are disgusting human beings. And that's true, that's what the Puritans are. They are vile people that want to ruin, they want to destroy people's creativity, and if it doesn't match their alignment, then they'll go after whomever that they're against. I mean, it's awful. And there was more people that were coming in here saying that they were actually glad to see this post, fantastic, inform our brothers and sisters of culture overseas of the dangers of being polite to those who seek only to burn them for their own self-righteousness. If not for some of them, after all, we would not have nearly a such anime or art content as we have. I mean, that's a good point. And then, this person comes in here saying, Yo, that's effing evil. I mean, on your part, if you talk like that about people who criticize your art, you deserve to be criticized. And, you know, here's the funny thing. That whole post, this person exactly is what the post was describing. <laughs> I mean, they are exactly what the post was described. And these are the kind of people that come in there that attack the artist, that say that they have to change their art, delete it, you know, get rid of it. And if they don't, then, you know, they'll keep going after. I mean, that's exactly what they do. And it's disgusting. And one person came in here and had a really good point stating getting harassed and sent death threats because someone's creative work doesn't like up with your view isn't criticism. And it's not. <laughs> I mean, it's not criticism. And this point is very valid. This is a very good point that this person brought up. And I have to say, good job on them for bringing that up because attacking somebody over their art and then just trying to shame them and making them apologize and telling them to delete their work because it's insulting, you know, that's not that's not criticism that's just attacking them i mean it's not right and this warning is a good way to teach these artists how to react when it comes to the puritans by just ignoring them and keeping their art up and not apologizing to them and standing their ground i mean it's a good way to teach them to just ignore the puritans altogether but anyways let me know what you think about this entire situation down below subscribe to the channel if you were new here and make sure you were still subscribed because youtube is unsubscribing people from all their favorite channels so make sure you were still subscribed to all your favorite channels hit the video with a like and also be sure to share the video on social media spread the word and get it out there it's greatly appreciated and it really Really helps out the channel a lot. Also, be sure to follow me on Discord and Minds. We have a wonderful community there, not only that, but it will keep you up to date on when the newest videos will be released, as well as any other upcoming events in the near future. So be sure to follow me on Discord and Minds. The links are in the description down below. But anyways, I hope you all have yourselves a wonderful and fantastic day today. And remember, if today was not a good day, tomorrow could always be better. Take care of yourselves and everyone around you, and have yourselves a good one out there, everybody.